have a loud voice. So we'll see how we go. Cool. Um, thanks everyone for coming along. It's really good to see so many people here. Um, I'm going to be talking probably in more specifics and less stories and definitely no graphs about what we're building and what we've built so far and what we're building for the rest of the year. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff that you know, we're really excited to show you guys and I think it's going to be really, really good. But I'll start with an interesting question. It's a very Tasman-like question, but I'll give it my best shot. And that is, why, do we, why are we building this stuff? Like, why do we get out of bed every day and hire 100 people and go build lots of software? Um, so recently, we, one of our product managers, Renee, sent an email around to all the company and said, can everyone send me a picture of what Tanda does for our customers? And this is what Tasman drew. Um, so that's pretty much my talk done. Like, that should really explain everything. Um, but that is, that is what we see. I think we want to make our customers so successful that they can jet back to the moon if that's what they desire. Um, anyway, through the process of doing that, we obviously got some more useful submissions, um, and we kind of put together this concept. So when we build our product, there's three pillars that we really live by, which is we want to improve the efficiency of everyone in the business, so obviously the employers and the managers doing rostering, doing time sheeting, and so forth, but also the employees. We want them to be as efficient as they can be. We want to improve trust. So, I mean, certainly in places I've worked, there's always been this relationship where, like, I know my boss is an asshole and I don't really like him. Not a tan, obviously. Um, and we want to sort of, and that's bad. I mean, obviously, it's bad because it makes you feel really shitty about it, but it's also bad because you're not going to go above and beyond for these people if you don't really trust them. And we want to improve connectedness. So we know that communication is a huge challenge in every business. We certainly are learning a lot about it through the process of growing hours. And we think we can, we think we can help make that a lot easier for all of our customers. So when we're building product, we're thinking about these three things. And we think if you combine these together, we'll build the best platform in the world for workforce success. Um, I'm going to be announcing six features today. Some of them we're about to start working on. Some of them are going live next week. So there's going to be a nice variety of all those. And I'm going to tell a bit of a story behind each one. The first one is we went and surveyed a lot of customers over the last year. And we asked them, you know, we started with, oh, do you like Tanda? Yeah, cool, awesome. But more importantly, what do you like about your job? And what don't you like about your job? And this is the number one thing we heard. We heard so many people say to us, I can't escape from work. And we were like, what, what do you mean? And they were like, well, you know, I'll, I'll go to work for the day, and then I'll come home. And then people will call me, or email me, or find me on Facebook, or find me on Snapchat, and be like, hey, man, can I stop a shift? And we were like, that's ridiculous. That's just such a bad use of time. And then when I get to work, someone doesn't turn up for work. I spend half my time calling people and being like, can someone come into work? And we were like, OK, so you know, we think we kind of know where we're going. We think we, need to, we think we know what we need to do to, fix, to make this a lot better. But we think we should keep digging and see if there's even more to it than that. We started realizing that you know, a lot of our customers really wanted a way to make it easier to swap shifts with, between employees and not have to have us, you know, have to have the manager be on call all the time. But there was an equal number of customers who came to us and said, I don't want my staff ever swapping their shift. I want complete autonomy over the roster. I don't want to have any interference from staff. And we sort of said, OK, well, I mean, that's, that's fair enough. You know, We'll let you do that. But then we dug into it some more, and we found that no matter what you do, people are always going to want. People, the, there's never going to be a perfect roster. People are always going to be swapping shifts. And what usually happens is, if as employers, we're not giving tools to our employees to sort of figure out when they, can, when they are able to work, they're just going to figure it out themselves. And it's usually going to be really catastrophic. So we heard this a lot as well. And then we talked to employees a lot, and we found that despite there being this overwhelming air of, you know, people are swapping shifts all the time and no one ever actually works their real roster. A lot of the employees I talk to are like, I don't know, hey, I just turn up if I can. I don't really know what's going on. So there's confusion across the board. So I'm very excited to announce that we're definitely actually going to build shift swapping and it's going to be going live this year. So we've kind of found there's two key areas we need to fix. The first is when you get sent your roster and you can't work a shift, find, finding a way of making it really easy to fill a define a replacement there. And the second is when, you don't turn, when someone doesn't turn up on the day, finding a way of automating the process of, of putting a replacement in place again. All this is going to be going through the Tanda app, which hopefully all of you have installed. Um, and it's going to be really good. So that's going, to be, that's going to be going live this year. Now, the thing that I found most interesting from this whole research process was that you know, everyone was like very, very excited about the idea that people can find a swap shift and finally Tanda's doing this thing that they've been talking about for years. But the reality is the best shift swap never happens. 
And what I mean by that is the only reason that people want to swap shifts with each other is because we, as managers, haven't done our schedule, haven't done our roster properly. So we, we try to figure out why that is. Why are people making rosters that are so bad that their employees are like, this is shit, I'm going to go find a replacement for myself. And it turned out the answer was sort of staring us right in the face, which is that the way that we did leave management in Tanda could be a lot better. So we found that a lot of people, we found two key issues there. Um, the first is that people, like employers, didn't really feel like they were sort of, didn't feel like their incentives were aligned with theirs with their employees. Employees wanted to take time off whenever there was a music festival, whenever there was a big party, and employers wanted people to actually come to work during those particularly busy moments. There was, there was a lot of misalignment there. I mean, we're never going to fix millennials wanting to party all the time. That's sort of, even Tasman would not say we can do that. But we can make it a lot better. So one of the things that we'll be launching in the next two weeks is letting you put particular times on leave requests. In terms of each request about leave, we found this was the most common thing people were asking for. They were constantly saying to us, you know, you take leave and it's for the whole day, and I just know I'm not, I can actually work half the day, it's just a few hours I can't do. So this is live in the app right now, and it'll be live on the website within the next two weeks. We also found that one of the major problems that organizations had once they actually were entering data correctly is that there was still a lot of confusion around who's taking leave when. Back when I worked in a fish and chip shop, I didn't know who was going to take a holiday when, so when I was asking for time off, it was like, oh, geez, I hope that no one else already has, I'm just not going to get it approved. So we are building uh, a leave calendar. We're building a much better version of leave calendar that's going to give every employee in the business the right level of insight so they can see who's taking time off, they can see if they're likely to get approved for their time off um, in a non-intrusive sort of way where everyone is on the, right, on the same page. And we hope this is going to make it much easier for people to, take, to sort of not try and take time off when there's already a really understaffed period, and to try and take time off at the best possible times. So we'll be launching that this year as well. Now, changing tack a little bit, one of the things we've heard so much from our international customers, especially in the US and in Europe, is that the way breaks work in Tanda works, um, but it's not the best, and we're happy to admit that. I think you can, you can clock as many breaks as you want in a shift, but it's kind of a bit of an annoying process to actually go through and approve them. Managers get confused all the time. The costing's kind of weird. So over, this, over the course of this, you've done quite a lot already to try to make that process a little bit easier, and there's more to be done. The first thing we did is we launched automatic breaks. So previously, you could have one automatic break per, de per day. Now you have as many as you like. You can set up rules around that, and you can tie that to your EBA. And that's been a pretty big win for customers who are on EBAs already, because it really removes an entire category of issues from rostering and from timesheeting. Um, the next thing we'll be launching is we'll be, we'll be grouping multiple clock breaks into one shift together, so it'll be one click to approve them rather than the two or three that you get now. So that will be going live in the next few months. Um, and then that will also enable us to do paid breaks, which I think will be very exciting for certain, for certain industries where that's mandated. So all these things will be done this year. Uh, breaks will finally be as good as everything else in Tanner. And these fine people are doing it, so go chase them down. They're all here as well. Um, moving on to some more interesting stuff, I think. One of the things that we've kind of learned is we've talked to a lot of customers, and we're like, we say to them things like, you know, how do you get feedback from your employees? Like, how do you encourage them to come to you and tell you what you can do to improve as a business owner? And one quote that really stuck with me was one lady we talked to said, oh, if someone's not happy, they can just come talk to me in my office. And I was like, well, you guys have like four different stores in different states. How, which, office, which office are they going to go to? So it was quite obvious that the communication models that we've come to expect don't always work, and millennials don't really get them. And so the people we have in, front, in working in the front line aren't always on the same level as the people who are managing them. So, we thought that we're in a pretty good position where we can sort of improve this communication network on a very specific problem, which is encouraging people to communicate when they're in different places on, around the context of work. So one thing we've been prototyping, which some of you might have seen within the app, is shift feedback. So there's a certain number of guinea pigs. I think some of them are in this room who have this enabled in their app. And after every shift, you can rate it between one and five stars. And you can add a comment as well. Now, what we found when we first tested this was we got a lot of really crap comments. Like, we got a lot of five-star best shift ever, and we were like, that's not very actionable and probably isn't true either. And we also got a lot of one-star worst shift ever, which kind of has the same problems. So what we're trying to figure out is how we can phrase this and design this feature such that people actually give you tangible feedback, like, 
we were understaffed for state of origin and no one bothered to roster more people. Or we had way too many people and I just sat around doing nothing all day. I think our goal was to try, to find, just try and get meaningful feedback from the people who are working on the ground so that everyone, both at a management level, a franchise level, a head office level, or any other sort of structure, everyone's aware of what's going on and is understanding how, the, how everyone at every level of the, of the stack is performing. So again, this is something that we've rolled out to some apps. Not everyone will have it. Um, we are going to try to find a way of getting more of the feedback on that side and less of the feedback on that side. Um, and we're going to sort of, as we do that, we'll roll it out to more people and build more features on the back end so that you guys can see the feedback people are getting and sort of act, and action on it. But we're very keen for opinions on this. We think this is going to be really powerful. We do something very similar within our business, but we don't know if it's going to work for everyone. So please, again, chase down the people on the side, tell them what you think about this concept, tell them how you see it working in your business, and challenge them to convince you it's a good idea. Um, I'll, I will tell a little story here, just in a break from tradition. I think when, as Taz was saying earlier, when we started Tanda, we were sort of working in a student association at, at QUT in Brisbane. And there was 100 staff there. And one of the problems that we found was that once a month, we'd get a report on our labor spent. And to me, it was like, that's really dumb. That means that 12 times a year, we can make a decision and see if it improves things. And that's a pretty bad feedback loop. So our first big idea with Tanda was, how cool would it be if every week you got your labor spent? Wouldn't that be the best feedback loop ever? And we built that, and it was pretty good. And then about a year into the business, one of my customers called me, and he was like, man, getting your labor once a, once a week, that's just shit. Like, how do you even live with that? And I was like, oh, I think it's pretty good. Don't be so mean. Um, and then he was like, it needs to be daily. And I was like, OK. So we sort of listened to that guy, went and talked to a few more people, and figured out he was totally right. And that's why we built daily timesheets, which I think a lot of you probably use every day. So since then, we've always asked ourselves, is daily the right feedback loop, or can it be more common? And what we've kind of struggled with is, as much as we wanted to give real-time costing of labor, it was actually really hard to do. Um, fair work, we're constantly thinking of new ways to make it harder to interpret awards, and we were constantly trying to keep up with them. And that made it really difficult to interpret awards in real time. But I'm pleased to announce we figured it out. So in the next two weeks, or sorry, next two months, I should say, don't quote me on that, um, we will be launching live labor costing. Um, that's going to be, hopefully, a really really transformative way of looking at things. Our goal was to take it from people making a change every day and trying to improve tomorrow's roster to people making a change during the day, in the first hour of the day, to improve the roster for the rest of the day. But we're not just going to launch that. We're going to make a bit more of a big deal out of it. So you've probably heard this joke before. People get rostered and they actually turn up for those hours. It's obviously a lot of crap. And the reality is that you need to know who's actually turned up and, more importantly, how many people have turned up. So we'll be launching both live staff count and live wages. Um, this will be showing up on your dashboard within the website. And it's going to come into the app as well. Um, and it's going to hopefully make it a lot easier for people to understand when they're overstaffed, when they're understaffed, and how much they're spending at this very minute. We're going to link it with sales data. So if you're putting your sales data into Tanda, which all of you should be, you'll be able to see, see your sales for man hour and your wage percentage of revenue as it's happening. Again, these guys are building it. Go talk to them. Uh, especially if you'd like early access, because we can turn this on for you relatively soon, if you're keen. So that's, what's we're, that's what we're announcing today. As I said, some of, these things are go, some of these things are already ready to go. Some of them are going live in the next few weeks. Some of them will be going live this, sometime this year. The honest truth is we haven't started working on all of them yet, but they're definitely locked in, so you can hold us to it. Um, we're really excited to get all your feedback about all of these things. So, so I've got the faces up there. Our whole product team is here at Beyond, and they're really, really keen to talk to as many customers as possible about how we can improve. Because we found that the only way to actually go and figure out what the best things to build are are to keep asking you guys every month, what are we doing wrong? How can we, be, how can we get better? So, so thanks again for everyone for coming. Um, obviously, this is only a small part of what our team does. We've also got here our engineering team and our ops team who keep the site online and try to do good, and hopefully do a pretty good job of that. Uh, we've got our quality assurance team who try to minimize the number of bugs that are in there. Um, our, our customer onboarding team make it easier for people to get started with their accounts, um, as well as a whole bunch of other teams as well. So please go and chat to all the devs here. They're really excited to talk to you guys. They really want to learn from you how we can make the product better for everyone. And I think that's all I really have to say here. So thanks again for coming to Beyond. Really good to have you all here. <laughs>